see that I've my latest day is day 42 still time to quickly go on over to twitch and export every day after 42 so won't take but a minute I think I only have so 43 and 44, we're going to export that. Exporting. Export that. It's public. Yes, of course it is. 44. Public. Go get them. All right. So that's done. That sure is done. So today is uh, the new game. We finished uh, Fortune Hunter. And so we won't be working on that again until such time as it, it's needed. And so here in the game is called Aspirant. And the, the full... I don't have a full game design yet. But what I do want is... It's something built out of the pieces that I made from Fortune Hunter. But with some other other stuff as well, because what I want is to um, but one of the things I didn't like about Fortune Hunter. Uh, the worst it got worse as it went along, which was I had command processors and. Those are the things accepting the input, and I had renderers, and those are the things that would render onto the screen. And there's a relationship between the two, but that relationship it was completely detached. And so that's fine. But so what I what I've decided to do. Let's see what did I do here? Oh, I just got rid of some white space, didn't I? Save you. Yeah, remove some white space. So now I've got an idea of oh, remove white space. Also, one of the things that I that I want to do for certain is to not um, um, just blindly take stuff. Right, I'm not blindly gonna just take things from uh, from Fortune Hunter because that makes that that doesn't do me any good. I need to be careful about it. But certain things, I'm gonna start bringing over some more stuff now because my X Y. My, my X, Y, uh, add item, item, X, Y class was, was good and, and going really in the right direction. I like X, Y. And 
and I also need another one. I think. Oh, do I want a maze this time? I think. Aspirant. Aspirant aspires for something. Aspirant is seeking something. What is my aspirant seeking? The fortune hunter was also aspiring, aspiring to seek treasure. What is the aspirant? What is he seeking? One of the other things that I that I decided to do was to change the way that the application gets its information, like how wide am I, how tall am I, what's my title, and all that. So now that's moved into an application JSON file, as well as my other stuff for mixer, channel count, and chunk size. So that that is now all config based, rather than um, well, really anything else. So here we are in Aspirant. Aspirant. And then I've just roughly started. I know I need a main menu, and I know I need um. Do I need? You know what? You know what? Okay, you play a game, right? And one of the things that I see a lot of is you see a splash screen that gives you all the hi I'm with the vanity splash screen is that a thing that we want to do is that is that what we want do I want a splash screen do I want you know the grumpy game dev logo to come up. I think I do. Of course I do. And also, it's a relatively easy thing to make. And in our current application, Gonna say that the very first state is gonna be splash. And if nothing else, so now okay. It is time to have other message handlers. But I also don't have any sort of graphics capability whatsoever. And that that is a thing that I wind up needing pretty quickly. Let's bring over. Texture map. Oh, things. Wait, I'm going to add a new filter. This one's called UI. And this one, another one. Add new filter from graphics. Nope, I don't want that one. Nope, not you. Okay. Add the filter. Graphics. So X, Y goes in here. The UI state goes in here. Add the system item. You're going to be the texture manager. Add another filter here. The graphics. Filter and add to you an existing item, Texture Manager. Let's take a look at Texture Manager because we're just not going to blindly incorporate things. Uh, we need a Finish Manager. That's important. 
that's a dependency. So we're going to wind up with image measure. These three things, you can add the finish measure to it. Uh, util we're going to take those, we're going to add those to utility. Existing items. Finish manager and finisher. Add you to finish manager. Okay. First, let's take a look at finish manager because I don't think it does all that much. So you add a finisher to a finish manager and then when you finish me okay so one of the things that the aspirate application is going to need is a finish manager Finish up to GDD Common Finish Manager Okay. That's where that goes, and then over here in location. Okay, now then whenever I say finish the game, finish manager dot finish. So whatever else needs finishing off. That's gotta be up pretty high. All right. I need a Texture manager. Let's, so let's take a look at texture manager and see how bad this code is. So there's my graphics manager. Should bring in that right about in finisher. Oh, there we go. Finish manager. Well, let's close everything. Yeah, I will bring in text your manager. Do you do you recognize it now? Okay, thanks. Good job. Only loading when you feel when when you actually load up the thing. Good job. This one, you certainly add Why does it need First off, okay, yep, we add to, add it to the finish manager. This does not need to be a. This is properties. And that's how you destroy all that. Do I need to actually call it get texture and add texture? What else am I going to get or add from a texture manager? Yeah, I think I'm going to add and get. Okay. 
need the renderer for this purpose. So when my renderer starts, my aspirant application needs that renderer. So how do I get that renderer? I don't have an STL renderer. My aspirant application, so I need it <clears throat> on start. And I'm going to put in a texture manager. Texture manager, texture manager. Okay, the texture manager takes the finish manager. When we start, we say texture manager. Start. Oh, yeah, application config file is that. Start with a render and a texture config file. We need a texture file. Texture config file equals config textures.json. Oh, that's cool. So then I need a new file called textures JSON. And start out with something empty. Go out. We're gonna go. We're gonna go get our logo. Our logo is called Enrage. Alright, size and the preset. Fire. Seven twenty. Download you. Older. Open you. This. Our 720 by 720, but we want canvas size. 1280, 720. Say OK. Grab a color from there. That. That. And yeah, the little bit here. Mm -hmm. There's something I can do. Nope, I already, already lost it. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, wait, cancel. I'm going to save as. Over here, not to Fortune Under though, but somewhere close. Tyrant, Tyrant, Assets, Images. I'm gonna just call you Splash for now. Do 
basically me with SVG. But I also don't know how to do the glowy bit. But whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Got a splash. Splash is assets images splash dot png. So that's the texture. So let's start making those we have. I added still need sprite. Still need my sprite manager. Right. And sprite manager. I think I need all of my sprite things. Pretty sure I do. In graphics, let's add a, an existing item. Right. There's a sprite font, there's a sprite manager. We're going to take the sprite table. Let's take a look at all three of those. So sprite, it's a texture and a rectangle source and an offset, and it's pretty, pretty simple. Oh, I need to get height here because we're about to do some other things. I need a color manager. Color manager. There's a color manager. All right, let's add the color manager to add the item. Color manager. Color manager. color manager is a base descriptor. Of course it is. <laughs> we need a base descriptor. Needs a finish manager. Okay, so this is uh, this will be okay. Base descriptor. Base descriptor manager. Wow. Two times. I don't, I don't even know where to put you. Add uh, new filter, base classes. Add an existing item of base descriptor. All right. All, that's all there. So this is a this is color manager. Times. And a color manager. And a, this the item. I need the color manager. Sprite, sprite font, sprite manager. 
What does the sprite what does sprite table give me? This is a lot like a base descriptor manager if I'm thinking about it. I think they all are. Let's take a look again at Sprite. Sprite have I bring in color. Right. So font that should be called property. Let's do that and get the sprite. And right glyph. Okay, so <clears throat> do we write some justified text, right? <clears throat> stuff being added here okay let's, let's get something on the screen at all and then in my sprite how, okay how do i load in a sprite sprite gets loaded in from the sprite manager Hello. Sprite manager exists i've got text wait sprite manager dot h Why did we have Well, I reckon we don't really need start to use it. Let us begin to use it. I need a texture manager in here. Very on with, with the texture manager. Let's get on with the do a sprite manager and a color manager. Let's bring it in. Let's bring in sprite manager. And then sprite manager. Okay, I'm gonna new that thing up. Takes the finish manager. Whenever we're starting it up, we say sprite manager start with the with the texture. Manager and sprite config file. I don't have a sprite config file. So, sprite config file, let's make that one. File, sprites. How do we do these? Sprites are done. Let's go back here. 
second pig and spike. This kind of stuff in here. We'll call you the splash image. <clears throat> and you're in the splash texture 0010 and 720. We just refer to you as Splash. You know what I would like? I would like to go to itch. And I would like to see a font. What I'd like to see, I'd like to see a font. I don't want anything too. Yeah. How much do we actually have? Pixel font bundle. So what have we got? We got all kinds of things. Look at that. We're going to take. Yeah, that's right. Copy you, we're going to see what we got. What can we do here? Tyrant. Looks like make like a... Put this here, one second. Start to there. TTF. Uh, uh, I don't want a TTF. So no. Nope. We're out. I don't want to do a font right now. Anyway, all right. That's all swell. We'll we will get to the font, and we probably wind up using the eight by eight ROM font. But we'll slice it down to something neater. Or we'll borrow, or we'll borrow the one from um, Fortune Hunter. We will do. That is exactly what we will do. Copy you. That's so gonna be fine, but we're going to edit you such that three forty eight, thirty two, no yeah, thirty two. We'll take a 
that's better. Might as well put you into your texture though. There we are. Getting a lot of code in here for not writing anything to a screen. So one of the things that I need to do is to make a new message handler that only renders when, um, only does stuff, only handles messages when my particular, when the particular UI state is is there so we're going to call this ui wait do we are we building right are we running and building right now so i've added a bunch of stuff right not take zero arguments application start and where's number. If we're building and running, I will commit at this point where I've added a bunch of things. Called get. Called get. Okay, do you run? Do you run without a problem and can I quit? Yes, I can. I'm showing you nothing, but I can run and quit. Getting in a lot of graphical stuff from Fortune Hunter. So here's what I want to do. UI. I want to add a new item. I want it to be a header file. And I want it to be a um, UI state message handler. Your UI state message handler. Step one namespace aspirant. Need message handler. Class UI message handler public TGDD common uh, message handler. Yo public so UI message handler. Of course, it takes a view. Close everything that is not pinned. I want my message player. That is a message handler star. Yeah. <sighs> States. So, um, so I need const UI state at current. State. That's the current state of the game. So that's going to 
be pulled again. So we have UI state uh, filter state. The message handler, we're going to have a const UI state and two of them. Two of these. One is Handler parent, UI state current state, and UI state filter state. <laughs> and so handler parent, comma, current state is the current state. And come oh, off, come off. Filter state is the filter state. So that's all I need to know in order to do. <clears throat> now this is my message. This is my message handler. So over here's my on message. go over to message handler and I say what's my I got my message right got the message no longer gonna be virtual this is TGGD TGGD common and generic yes okay bull on filtered message const tgtd common and generic star so right on <clears throat> this one's virtual equals zero message yo if um Current state is filter state. Then return on filter message. Filtered message. Message. Yes. If we're in the correct state, pass it along. Otherwise, don't. And so, let's get a splash. A splash state. Add new. Okay. Yeah. Add item. state handler dot h name space a sprint include <coughs> UI state message handler class <coughs> splash state handle handler public UI state message. Is it public? Did I public? I did public. My state. That's Chandler. Public. 
slash state handler. There should be a message handler start <clears throat> parent and the const state current state. So this thing. to the UI state message handler parent parent state and UI state slash very specifically deals with the splash handler so protected and I need to make this thing I think in my case here, this is the one thing I'm going to have it handling down there. Add a filter called UI. I'm going to add a item, splash state handler dot cpp. Namespace aspirant. <clears throat> Call you splash state handler da dunk. Message. Okay. So, what messages do I want to handle? And at the very, very least, I want on draw. Void on. Need to be protected. Void on draw as SDL under do I, do I still have like a render or no? I don't think I do. I really don't. Include SDL const always but always const on draw. Do I have a do I have a renderer? Print. Nope, oh, didn't keep that. All right. Messages. No, oh, all right. At the very least, on draw. So, let's say handler on draw is going to be um, Ooh, you know what? Mm. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. I may have to put this filtering thing into uh, a different, a different sort of thing. Now this is 
is absolutely no good. Nope, this is not going this is not going to give me what I want. Because not only my message handler. I want to do is filter the message. Virtual pool filter message. Always, no matter what. I say handle the message. No, 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 no. Nope. I don't know how. I don't know. Hmm. Give it a think. Let's keep going this way. It's just just because. So right here on filtered message, I now have to have a whole all my drawing has to be done by this state. I can't put sub message handlers for things. Basically, it's a am I enabled an enabled flag? Let's think about it. Let's go virtual bool is enabled. We're going to return true. All right. Whenever we say handle a message, we're just going to go if not is, is enabled, return false. Oh, if it's not enabled, return. I handle broadcast if I'm not enabled. I return false. If I'm not enabled, forget it. Get it? So then I don't really need. <coughs> Is enabled. Aha. Uh -huh. Return current state is filter state. So that's much better. So now I have, that's a much simpler, simpler solution. But by default, it's, yeah, no, you're, handle all the messages, don't filter anything out. <clears throat> and filtering the messages is a separate thing, and but we may, we may be okay here. So now anything south of it, so now it's still just on message. state handler. I don't have a texture. So I don't have my sprite. Okay, so let's get the on draw. Void on draw. Steel renderer. And 
podcast. And splash the handler. I'm gonna do some nothing. Do nothing. Don't return false. By default, we return false if message get ID. And render get ID is equal to TGD common render. Draw. Then uh, turn doesn't matter what you return, really. On draw. Star TGGD common render star message render. So now, in theory, just return it, dude. Turn false. You should not stop rendering on this account. So what have we? What are we going? What are we doing? A sprite manager. Yeah, sprite manager. Ugh. By state, there is a sprite manager. Sprite manager. It const common sprite manager. And we're going to need. state comma const sprite limit of tgd comma sprite under and then over here in my sprite, my splash state handler. Const state string. Sprite manager dot get sprite um sprite name that gives me a right draw render Right. 
Moment. Aspirate X. In theory, this will draw on that screen my grumpy logo. Assuming that I'm setting this up, I did. Okay. Let's just find out. Builds. No. Oh, you know why? Do you know why? I know why. Is when I do my aspirant application. And this, this is a is an evilly dangerous thing here. So when I start. I include my splash state handler. All I do here is I say new splash state handler. That's this. My state. And sprite manager. And that's it. That's right. I just say new. Uh, it's cleaned up but later on. That's that's messed up. Okay, so, I don't know, does it work? I don't know, find out. Still no. Do I get, does this thing ever get called? Do I ever get here? Oh, am I? Hmm? Under application. When I'm running, do bump. When this goes on, let's let's. So this is the first actual time of F eleven. No, oh, I did not. It's done wrong. It's not just that matter. It's a um. again F11 and enabled
children. I never set the parent. Did I not set the parent? Set parent parent. Oh, no. Where am I at? I am making the application. Continue. Now we are making this thing. If parent. Dude, all right. A derp. Did not actually add it to the parent. Go me. I was leaking. Okay, now we're finally calling in here. There it is. Big as a day. C++, yes. Hello, the Iron Pirate. How are you today? Splash image is on the screen. That'll give me that. <clears throat> And I think I want to actually switch. Let's get it to <clears throat> the people. About time for me to switch to my bouncy ball chair anyway. Oh. Yeah. And get a yeah. soda. Alright. Okay. So yeah, people tend to vilify C. They do. Uh, and there there are some reasons that people do. Um, but like with anything, right? There are uh, trade-offs. Yeah, so people, there are, there are a lot of people who hate every language. Uh, but that's just, that's just how people are. I use a lot of different languages, actually. I only use C++ on stream to make the games. Static cast, well, let's, I don't, I don't wish to mislead you here. Static cast. Static cast. Uh, these are. And this was one where I wasn't completely sure that that was the right one. So here's what here's what static cast does. It's a lot.
A lot of people. A lot of people dislike Java. But you know what? You can pay your bills with Java. You can pay your bills with uh, pay your bills with C plus uh, plus. I pay my bills with C sharp. Yeah, but the thing is, it's not about it's not about what I what I what I like in the in the language. It's like what language gets the job done. In C sharp, I pay my bills. That's what I we what we use at work. JavaScript, you can pay your bills with JavaScript. A lot of people dislike JavaScript. They go, "No, oh, use TypeScript." I'm like. Okay, fine. Use your use your TypeScript then. In the end, uh, I work at <clears throat> I work at the Master Lock Company. <clears throat> so we make these things. I don't write any code that goes on these things because these things brief demonstration I suppose yeah I get it get over to my app well so this thing will open through Bluetooth. And through a, there's a mobile app. I don't work on the mobile app either. I work on the back end. I do work in the data store. So let's go here. This one, I hit a little button here. Maybe. And I open it. It's a pretty neat little thing. <sighs> so I don't work, I don't work on this part, and I don't work on this part. But there's a whole lot of cloud stuff going on in between. Well, to say this thing can open this thing, there's a lot of decision making that happens in the cloud, and I work on that part. Well, of course they worry about vulnerabilities. But you see, when you tell this thing, open up, it's not just open, that, that's, it's not just a simple message, open up. Now, what, so what this does, <clears throat> it's one of the things that this has to go get. This thing has to go get an access profile. And an access profile is a is an encrypted payload that says what this thing what this thing can do and that's based on who's logged in to this application so you go out and say hey i've got this device you can see i don't know how well you'll be able to see it but there's like a little i can angle it just right there's a device there's device id there's a device id on here the device ID is, there are two places where the encryption key exists for this. One is in the locks firmware itself, and one there's a repository that you say, hi, give me the, give me the access profile for this, but that's tightly controlled. So really when this thing says, okay, I am this guy, and make, so give me the access profile for this particular lock, it goes through the business rules and say who am I logged in as? Do I have do I do I have permission to this lock? Okay, I do. Now go grab me an access profile for this lock, and then when the Bluetooth happens, it goes, "Hey, open, 
and it goes, okay, well, let me check your access profile. Oh, your access profile checks out. So click. So that's how that works. We put a lot of thought into it. No, not for each connection, because the access profile, um, because for for example, right now, right now I go in here and authorized. That was which one was that one? Yeah, that guy. So I have an offline key, and it's valid until twenty sixth of September. So I got like a week. So when I get my access profile, I can use it for a week. These these run on a these run on a battery, um, and most of the time they're asleep. Right now it's right now it's wanting to talk. Right now this thing is talking. These things are talking back and back and forth, but most of the time this thing's asleep. And so there's a uh... no. You can these things are expensive. As one as one might expect. Get over to Things are weird. Things are weird in this world. But so, um, and this is this is the thing. This is this is the one. It costs seventy two dollars. But yeah, you can open it with your phone. Well, and there's also uh, there's like a up down left right thing, so you can have you, there are other codes and also little temporary codes that change every so many hours that you can use to open it up so there's other ways there's other ways to get into it and then even when the battery is dead there's this little compartment here where you can slide another battery in here and jump it but then you're gonna have then you have to because uh, once it's open then you can take the battery out so yeah that's what that does that's what I that's what I do and pay my bills with. Of course on stream I make stupid little video games. Because I find that much more engaging. <laughs> Frankly. Rather than okay, gotta gotta fix this query so that it's not super slow. All right, splash state handler. I want another one. I want a What do I want? I want do I I want to have another state handler. Maybe I want my sprite font now. I probably do. Yeah, let's go. So I need my sprite font, which means I need a color manager. Let's bring the color manager in. PGGD and then a color manager. Cut 
color manager. <clears throat> Environment application color manager is a manager takes a takes a finish manager. There's a start here. Color manager start. And you're gonna be color config file. Put you over here. No. Const std string that equals config colors.json. Do 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 do. And so then I need a colors. File colors.json. There's that. And we have one called white. I think I just have like R. B. B. Not sure if I have A in here or not. But I suppose it can't hurt anything. Oh, dosh. Right on. Okay, so that's my color manager. I want a sprite font. So how do sprite fonts work over in Fortune Hunter? That's... It's going to be my main. Manager. Tables. What are you? Sprite manager. So where's my sprite font? So where's ROM? ROM. Aha! So, I actually want a. <laughs> so okay, so there's an actual entire like ROM font file over here. And so I think what I need to do is. Uh... Oh, maybe not yet. Let's go over to Hunter Big. Call it. Rom font dot JSON. That's not what I want it to be once it's over here. I want you to be font.json now let's take a look at <clears throat> font.json so it has all these character two zeros and all that stuff which means I need sp those are my sprites Zero. There's texture is font zero. Okay. 
So this is going to be a little on the tedium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. A little bit tedious, but we'll get through it. One, sixteen, two, three, two, three, forty-eight, four, four. So now I've got line two done. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Two, first two, then. It's a slog. Let's put some numbers in a file. <laughs> Let's do all the stuff. Uh -huh. You know what? I bet, I'm willing to bet, that I can take some. I can do this from the ROM font one. I bet you I can. So let's open this code. Nope, not that one. Writes.json from over here. Starting at character 2 zero. Going down to 7F. Copy you. Completely new folder. No, new file. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do? H Y thirty two comma becomes. Y zero comma. Okay, so replace all the things. Boom. And forty eight becomes sixteen. Boom. Sixty four becomes thirty two. Boom. 80 becomes 48. Boom. 96 
66 Chums 64 Boom 112 Chums 80 Boom There's more, right? What else do I got? I got Wait. I don't have a one to it. No results. Oh, so, okay. In theory. Take that. Put that. Right there. Like that. Format the whole stinking document. Yeah, that's about right. <clears throat> so, all right. Ooh, but I'm funny. By eight is not what it's called. Get H. Um, font eight by eight it just becomes font. Let's that. Okay, that's cool. Font has all of that. Okay. Let's see if we can actually get something written. Um, so this is going to need a font. Well, get to here. I want a sprite font. And TGTD common sprite font. Sprite. Say, make the thing. Sprite font requires a sprite manager. Font manager. Manager and font config file. Font config file config font JSON. Alright. Do I have to do a start or no? I don't know. Is there a sprite font dot start? Nope, there is not a sprite font dot start. Alright, so now if my my splash state handler would happen to get my sprite font. Include a Font. That's our sprite font. We need to pass that in somewhere. That's star. Yeah. Sprite manager, sprite font. Const t d d d common sprite font. Ampersand sprite font. And 
the sprite font is a sprite font. Okay. Oh, right on. Okay. So in the splash state handler, I should be able to write. Right font, right text, renderer, common, x, y, int, well, let's go hello world. I will say white. It's gonna work. It's gonna build. It's not gonna build. <clears throat> Why isn't it going to build? It's not going to build. Because I don't. I'm not passing my sprite font. And it says, hello world. Yes, it does. Look at that. It works. Uh, oh, so we'll just go, hello world on the splash screen. <clears throat> so, one of the other things that is over in here, right? Here in Fortune Hunter, there's labels and label managers or help pages. Maybe I don't call it that anymore. So there's label. There's a concept of label. Let's bring it over to Aspirant here. Here's label. Add the item label. Add existing item label.cpp. And what do we have in label.cpp? I can actually set one up manually, so that's all right. I can do that. <clears throat> oh, cool. Let's bring that in, and we'll draw the label. Let's buy a state hand. Let's bring in a vector of labels. Let's bring in label. Let's bring in, you know, what does it, does it really, does, doesn't matter. Let's bring in list. And we're gonna have a std list of tgdd common label. So we have all of <clears throat> all the stuff that we need in order to do that. I think I want to put something else in color. I think I want to also have black in here. So 
that's black. <clears throat> So then, okay, that's cool. And so let's have Date Handler on draw, and we're going to labels. Just make it making up the new labels. And we'll do labels dead end. Push back. PGGD common label. Well, maybe I might like. <clears throat> maybe I might like a help page. But do I want to call it a help page? I don't think that I do. Let's get rid of that for a second. And let's let's think about um concept of the help page and what's a better name for this? First, let's grab it. Bring it over here. Graphics add new item. Not new item. Not new item. Existing item add existing. Old page. Add a item. Also help page. What does help page do? Help page. Brings in. Has this idea of the next page and the previous page. All right. We don't need a concept of the next page and the previous page. Well, what I do need. It's not to say I don't need. Help page. So I need some, just a set of labels, really. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to say I don't need this. Because in fact, I am going to use it for my instructions page, right? Add page manager and add the item of page manager. Those are there and those are cool, but I don't, that's not what I want right now. What I want is our labels. And what I want to have is a, uh, let's, let me make what I want here. It's a new file. Oh, you know what? I need a I need a font manager. Okay. Text. What's different? Adding in, in labels and help pages. Well, that's cool. But I need a font manager. In the end, I need a font manager. 
and I need a config called fonts. Things have to change bit fonts. Default is just as or config font.json. We'll call you default.json. Okay, now we're gonna jack everything up. Everything's going south now. application font config file is default we'll call you the default font config file and we are going to make a font manager out of the descriptor manager Yep, getting a whole lot of nothing done today. Add new item. Getting hungry. Nope, stop. <clears throat> This is TGCD common. <clears throat> Here is Mr. Font Manager. Our public base descriptor manager. What does this thing do? Really? Plus, base descriptor manager needs a T identifier and a T descriptor. So, we need that's going to be string and sprite font, I think. Yeah. I need Sprite Font Star. Or Cots Sprite Font Star. I don't know. The public. And the basic scripture manager requires a up. Oh, it is a it requires a finish manager. Okay, so this will delete. All right, so that is totally totally right. Right. Okay. So it needs the parse key and the parse descriptor. Manager have a finish have a finish manager. Our STD string our spray font. Virtual anymore. Yep. 
Oh, nope, it's right wrong. Eh. Okay, so now that's correct. No, oh, there's going to be an interesting voyage of discovery here. Hot manager. Space. You gotta stay here, you gotta stay here. Somebody else has to go. Taunt. Manager. Probably need all these things here. Uh, get these things functions now. Wait, no, it's TG, it is TGGD Pass. There we go. <sighs> he, I he's finished manager. So you, base descriptor manager. So that does all that, that's fine. Well, the key is really just return key. The rest of this, though, right font. Then a sprite manager and a color manager and file. So these things have to have a sprite manager and a color manager in them, in it. And TGG. Don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need it. Here. Right manager. 
cast, it is cast, cast, right? Cast, right, manager, right, manager, cast, color, manager, color, manager. Point will do this. Finish manager. Cast sprite manager. Cast killer manager. Over to our constructor. Sprite manager and color. Manager, sprite manager, and killer manager, killer manager. Yay! Return new sprite font. Sprite manager, color manager, and property. And so there's my font manager, okay? So let's bring the font manager manager into here. Font manager. We don't want sprite font anymore, we want font manager. Font manager, font manager. Go to our application down here. And font manager. Finish manager. Right manager. And a color manager. And we say here. Start with fonts config file called the fonts config file. I do it. Oh, that's awful. Yuck. <clears throat> All right. I don't think I want get on my descriptor manager again. This is really just a. Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Do we still see? No labels. All right. Ah, still there. Okay. is now a font manager. Yay, font manager. Directory, okay, all right, uh, nice. But do I want a sprite font? I don't think I want a sprite font.
then really I don't want a whole sprite manager either. What I want is I want a um, sort of like a control. I want a static image. And that's sort of like a control. A static image is a sprite that has um, it has a reference to a sprite manager, and so it has a string and it has where where do you put it, right? In here, I make a thing called. Static image. And what are you? You are. This one's this one's generic enough. So, t d d d common class static. Static image. What does a static image have? A static image has to have a right, right. Do I really? I care about. Great. Care about that. And I care about what color. So I need a const right manager. Right manager. Const uh, color. Manager, color manager, Oof. Yep. we ran out of heat, <sighs> heating pad at my feet, my feet, my feet are getting cold, I'm like, hey man, why are my feet getting cold? So, let's see, string, sprite, name. CD string color name. And I make label. What does label have? Label has instead of a sprite font. Which I don't think I want to have. I want to have a font name. Just like I want to have a sprite manager passed in here. Const sprite manager. Const color manager. Const String. So that gives me all of that information. I oh, just knew this. Let me put this together now. Color manager. Sprite name. Color name. Sprite manager. Sprite. Manager is sprite manager. Color manager is color manager. Sprite name is sprite name. 
color name is color name. So fine, that's a static image. And I want a um, void draw scale renderer star. I need more than this because I need, where is it? I need to bring in X, Y. And uh, Y int X, Y. Called X, Y, because that's what we call you. And where are we at? We're at x, y, int, x, y. Okay, that x, y is x, y. So now I got a renderer. I'll just do it here. And you're const. That's right. You have to be const. Sprite, so Sprite Manager dot get Sprite Sprite name draw renderer x y and what's the color? Color Manager Okay, the descriptor so <clears throat> now I should be able to replace my Thing with a static image draw, so I should just be able to draw it. All right, let's put that in a. So we'll just say added static image. I don't really. I do. I need a color manager, but I don't need the color manager. Need sprite manager, but what I do need static image. Const t d yeah. color manager. So now I'm actually going to need this in its own thing here. down because I have things that I need to include that are not terribly important. Want over here is Keep you. Let you close the non pinned ones. Pow. All right. 
perfect font, and I want a GGD common static image. Static image. So, static image comes from. Break manager. Toy manager. Oh. Alt sprite name. Color. Sprite color will be const instead of string. Sprite color. Static image dot draw. Under. So now it has all wrapped up all this stuff. And won't build because I'm pretty sure I'm not passing a parameter to something somewhere. Right. Right there. Okay. Will we see the image? Will this horribly explode? Will we see the image? Added static image to splash screen. And right on. This one, about time, time for a to-do. Plus, that's a to-do. And here's to-do. It's version blah. Go away. <sighs> Let's do this. What refactor do I, I... I immediately notice that my uh, splash state handler... Yeah, splash state handler... takes a sprite font... This should be a label set or set of labels or something. So that's how we're going to do that. Ugh. Or maybe really there's just a whole rendering set thing. I don't know. There's stuff. Uh, can I consolidate static image and label with a base class and base collection? Do I have other controls that I want to do? So this is basically let's make controls. So 
no, that's a that's a goodly amount of headway added the to do. Oh yeah, that's fifteen commits. And push that right on up. Various other sundries out of the way. That let's get over to GitHub. And one of the things we're gonna do, we're gonna add uh, to, 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 to. There we have it. Submit. Hey, the bite man, what's going on? Happen then. Okay, so there's Esperant. There's the Git repo. Am I using Stencil for it? No. I've not seen anybody use stencil. I've used stencil. Stencil is uh, basically what I would use to teach my kid to do things, and I have uh, taught my kid using stencil because it has some stuff. But uh, stencil is not suitable for my purposes. I'm using C++. But yeah, Stencil, I think, is right here. I wonder which version I'm on. I don't even know. Stencil, an old, old version. Oh, Stencil. When was this one? I don't even know what version they're on now. It's a fine little toy, though. Which version are they on now? 4.0. Yep. No coding required. See? See, this is a lie. This is a lie. Ah, uh, this is coding. Blockly is a language. It is a visual language. I use SDL. So SDL, I'll go. I will post a link and this is these are I use this one and then there's also um, a couple of satellite libraries like one for one for doing better audio so uh, SDL mixer then one for loading images that aren't bitmap files, which is SDL image. So I use those three as the basis of doing all my rendering. And then I just build on top of that. So this, this SDL renderer here, that's the I can draw stuff. But then very quickly, I abstract myself away from even that, where I go, I've got, here's a sprite. Sprite is a section of a, of a texture, but when I want to draw the sprite, I just say draw the sprite. But so I have to, I've got adulting to do. Who doesn't love adulting? So I gotta get out of here. So yeah, nobody like nobody likes adulting. But it uh it does pay the bills and it's less dog poop to clean up you were starving children so we're gonna raid tim i'm getting out of here with all the <laughs> Okay, so let's copy that.